What's up, guys? We are counting down, and we have five more weeks left. Today is Monday, and I just got done with my workout. It's 5.45. I'm stretching. I'm about to get ready to drill some of the things that I worked last week reviewing, and from there I'll go to BJJ class, then come back and do some boxing, finish around probably nine o'clock PM. And you know, the whole feeling of today has been just show up, show up. I could have gone to the morning class of uh, jujitsu today, which probably would have worked out better, but I didn't. So I have to do it tonight. That's what happens when you procrastinate on things. You, you know, it doesn't go away. It, it just gets pushed, pushed down. I still have to go. And the feeling of, of not doing what you told yourself you were going to do is, is way worse than the feeling of safety you get from not going. So... You have to lay your head down on your pillow at night and you know if you did your best and, 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 uh, you know, if you, um, let yourself down in some type of way. So has to get done. So we're going to move on to some more open guard stuff off our back. Today's going to be a C guard or maybe three guards. Got a couple of the same. Those are the main ones, but I'll give you what it looks like. So a good way to get there, we're starting to close guard just like this. And what I'm going to do, either he opens up my guard or I open up my guard. But before that happens, because I'm going to get a grip on the sleeve, and then I'm going to get a cross collar grip on the other, on the, uh, on the collar pair on the opposite side. So usually when I get this one, I don't want to go too low. I don't want to go too high. A good little distance to set up, whether I go for a choke or just a, a collar and shoulder grip, is I like to line up my finger with uh, his collar going up here. So I'll take this index finger, and I'll slip it in there, and I kind of feel like the collar going back on my elbow here. So that's a good distance to get this hand in there if you're one you're using the now I get a sleep grip on the same side collar as I grab it. So I grab his collar, and a sleep grip on the same side over here. Now when I open up, I'm going to open up my guard and I use this leg. I keep it up here kind of by his belt, just to keep the distance. And I kind of just stiffen my leg up. And what I'm going to use on the hip escape away from my grip. Okay? If you've been here for my scissor uh, sweep, when I did the scissor sweep, it's the same way that we're, that we're hitting after this uh, bar. So when I hit it out, look, I hip it away from my grip. I stiff this leg out. My foot's gonna go on the mat, I'll pick my hips up, and I bump out just like this. Now from here, my knee level is that few that I used to hip out. I'm gonna come up, across his body, diagonally. So my knee's up here, by his shoulder, I still got my grip over my knee, and then my foot stays up here by his hip. Okay? There's a position sweep going here, we load him up, just like this. This is just 93 guard. Also remember if you look at this way. When we did this, uh, scissor sweep. This applies to this uh, 93 guard as well. Notice I have this leg over here kind of by his leg. I don't want to leave it flat on the ground. He can very easily step up and over, and now we're going to end up like in a half guard type position. And with my guard open, it shouldn't be too hard for him to pass my guard. So when I leave this leg down, yeah, the top of my leg up here stays kind of on the ground. But I'm going to leave my calf and my heel kind of over his leg. Now if I feel his leg coming up, I can immediately go into something else like that and do it here like this. Okay? You just kind of start feeling that out. I'm trying to get you guys to grab a little bit more with your legs, okay? So now from here, we're just going to get to the 90 degree guard. Come here just like this, all right? A couple minutes, we can extend. Starting in close guard. Sleeve grip, collar grip. As I open up my guard leg, I'm going to hit away from my grip. So I've had my grip on this side. I let go sit. I put those on the mat. I bump my hips down. Then I bring my knee up, across the body. My calf's going to go over his calf. I'm not going to do that anymore. If you guys do want to practice getting the knee lift from there, that's fine. All my partners are going to do, he's going to lift his knee up so that his shin is uh, perpendicular to the ground. I'm going to bump back the other way, and then lift this. It's going to go underneath. And I have the lean leg. I start setting my lifts. Not that easy, but Does anybody have any questions? So we're just opening up and going to that knee guard slash C guard. All right, so make sure you have that hip, like that leg, diagonally across the upper body. I'll show you why real quick. If I get to here, it's like this. This is a good spot for my leg. If it's too low, all you have to do, 
smash my knee down to my leg, sprawl out, and get to walk around my feet. If my knee's too wide, I'm here and run across. If the knee's too wide, now you have options. You can go through. Oh. The purpose of this leg is to help control the distance. So he starts pressing into me, I just extend my leg, and I use my shank kind of like as a barrier. My grips are helping me pull them in also. So if I don't want them to go back too far, I'm going to start pulling them in. So like I still use my shin to keep the distance, depending on what I'm going to do, depending if I go for a triangle or a sweep. All right, so I should be able to control whether he's going forward or backward when I get to this part. All right, so we're just starting an open guard to get into there. After that, I'll show you some of the options you guys did. I'm trying to get stuff. You too, you know. No, 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 that's why I should see what I like. Alright, we're gonna circle. Alright, again, it's a Z heart connect because you guys practice that motion of bumping hips down on your side, alright? Don't put that you guys saw, you guys saw me going in and because I don't want your lower back on the ground when you get to the 93 guard. If I'm here like this, I don't have as much mobility in my hips. But if I get up here, yeah, I'll just basically just like that. But then I'm gonna do it up. With my feet, maybe up on the shoulders, just like this. Alright, there's a bunch of different stuff we can do just from here, a bunch of entries. You already saw, if we bring this leg up, and the leg up. I throw underneath your leg. All I did was go here. Yeah. Yeah. Wrap that leg up. I wrap my hands straight around his ankle. My shin's gonna go around his head just like this. I already have my daily evil. If he keeps standing up, even with the sleeve in his collar grip, like he's already tight on his, on his, on his uh, hip over here. All I gotta do is switch from his sleeve grip to the ground with his ankle and rotate it out, or get his uh, four finger grip down here on his hands. I personally prefer the hands for this position. Alright? You guys remember? Something here? Then the heel guard right here. I push my feet, so put up the hip here, hook over here, I have my uh, hook suit. So that's what we're going to do for now. You've got two options. So, once you guys get to here, get all the way up on your side. Try to keep this thing also close to your, your body. If you start bringing it back, you can start uh, getting this right knee, pushing that knee, and start breaking that knee. So try to keep this thing up here close to you. Control that arm. From here. Stay tight. Your partner's gonna stand up with this leg that's right here, right in front of the open guard. I'm gonna take that same leg that was draped over his uh, calf, he's gonna wrap around on the inside. Now we go to heel up. Boom. Start getting the heel up. You start standing up. I'm gonna try to stay tight. Notice I'm still up on, on my hip. I haven't moved. I haven't gone back down to my lower back like this. I'm still up on my side. That has to be a nice tight down heel. Okay. Now I'm here to switch my hip speed. I'm sorry. So I'm here to switch my hip speed. Foot unwind. One hip. Other hip thing up here. Everything pulls except for this leg. This is going to push it back. Everything else is going to pull. Pull, pull, pull. Pull. I keep coming up. Notice I stayed on that leg even when he fell on the ground. I kept that hook up and I kept sweeping him over by staying on my side. A little bit harder to bump the hips up when you're on your back like this, but as you're already here, keep lifting that leg and this will get the push. Here, so I go into my deli. Keep standing up, but turn it on the hip just like this. Right, I'm gonna switch though. Go on the hip, here, like that. Keep this arm down close to my hip. Up, lifting. Back. Here, I can immediately start coming up into mouth. Alright, so that's one option. Deli sleep, hook sleep that we did last week. The other one, so I'm going to use this collar grip. It's like I'm going to look. I'm pulling him down, I'm pulling him in. I'm going to square my hips back on him, up into him, and go into closed guard. As I go back into closed guard, I'm going to let go of my sleeve grip. I'm going to start bending my elbow up and closely in here. I'm going to go into a loop stroke. There we go from here. He starts pressuring into me. I'm going to go back to closed guard. Boom. I go back and look. My arm that was on the sleeve is going to go back behind his neck. My elbow is going to come up. And I'm going to tuck my arm and then my uh, bicep over here. Notice I already start flaring my fingers up. This is gonna help me bring this elbow up across towards the back of his hand to make my toe tight. I'm trying to straighten my arm out. It looks like I'm trying to wrap my collar, his collar around his neck, but I'm just trying to straighten my arm out just like this. I'm gonna flare my elbow up, make my toe tight. As I go here, like I let go of the sleeve grip, 
Come up. My elbow also comes up. Now get up on my side. And choke. I want to make it tighter. Open guard, foot on the hip again. Kick out. Boot choke. Now if you get here, you need to go back in the closed guard. We're going to sleep trip and it's going to go behind his neck. You guys are here. Like that. Sorry, guys. We'll go back in the closed guard. Pull him in. Elbow comes up. Look, I'm going to drive this arm. If he keeps sticking his head up, I'm just going to keep forcing his head down with my wrist. I'm going to keep digging my own palm. I don't need my arm over. So as I go here, let go of the guard again. Get up on my side. Let my elbow up. And get my chip. All right. So we got hook sweep from Bell and Eva. Get to go back in the closed guard. yourself to show up you force yourself to show up and that's when it's hardest when you're tired and yeah and you just don't feel like it but genuinely just forcing yourself to show up because when you put in perspective of who you want to be in 10 years or you know the goals that you are trying to accomplish that just outweighs the feeling of wanting to be comfortable for the moment So, show up. I'm going to show up.